sorry to disappoint you, Prime Minister. The Conservative Party will not have my vote. And do you know why? I feel I rage on At the power and the politics At the pain and the suffering Caused by the wicked man stealing the love of the earth Why are you here today? Well, first and foremost, I'm here to protest against austerity because I feel austerity's ruined this country so far. And secondly, I'm here in the Scrap Trident block because I feel it's absolutely grossly irresponsible that we're prepared to spend £100 billion on new nuclear weapons when we could fund the NHS, homes, jobs and all that. Not only are they immoral, they're also ridiculously expensive. This is uh, about a three-headed monster of austerity. Uh, crushing welfare, human rights, public services and we need to slay them, the people. And if we cut off their heads, they grow again, so we've got to get to the top. TTIP is the Transatlantic Trade Investment Partnership, a current deal, trade deal being negotiated between the Americans and the European Union, been going on since July 13. Under very shady conditions, we know very little about it. Um, there's currently another agreement called CETA, which has been published, which is again the, uh, the postscript for it, and it's a very, very, very dangerous in the way that it's all about deregulation of services rather than actual trade negotiations. And also over and above that, there's an element called the Investor State Dispute Service, which is a corporate court which allows corporations to sue governments, hence our banner which says stop the corporate grab. It's about corporations being able to sue governments because the government puts in place public policy which is likely to inhibit the profit margins of the, the corporations. So it's now been put back a little bit longer. So a lot of the activism that we've created over the last 12 months has delayed this a little bit because we were hoping to have it signed, sealed and delivered at the end of this year. Um, so thankfully we are putting it on the hold. And the Americans, they've got a Trans-Pacific Agreement in America, similar agreement, so activism thankfully is putting some of these deals on hold. One of the things, um, the, ha the way the government doesn't control housing in Barnet where I work, we now have got teachers just can't afford to even get rooms to live in because it's so expensive. Um, and so we've got a teacher crisis. Um, that's one of the things, the children we're teaching, they're being pushed out of their homes and it means they have to travel miles to their school now because the social housing is diminishing. So that's one of the big areas. As a teacher we've suffered, you know, take home pay has actually been greatly reduced with the increased pensions which weren't justified. Um, and the next thing that's coming up is school budget really badly being hit. And already one school head talking to me about a 200,000 cut. I'm from the Focus E15 housing campaign. Um, it, we're a campaign group started from um, a group of single mums that have been evicted from a hostel. We're sent to Manchester, Hastings, Birmingham, away from our support networks and family. We live in East London. Um, so we got together, we fought back, we demanded that we all were rehoused in social housing in Newham. And we won, we, we had an amazing victory, all the mums were rehoused in Newham. Um, but we didn't stop there, we started to occupy empty homes like on the Carpenters estate. We occupied four empty flats there and demanded the council repopulate them. Um, we were evicted and um, taken to court by Newham Council, but we'd forced them to open 40 of the homes on the estate and people were starting to move back into the estate that was marked for demolition. So it shows when you get up and stand together and fight back that you can definitely win. That you, all these small victories add up and it just creates an amazing fight.